Shalom, Israel, no doubt. My Shah is not with us tonight, but uh, you know he's with us in all things, and he'll be back. I want to discuss for all of the sisters, the daughters of Zion, this, this curse the Heavenly Father hit y'all ass with. He took away y'all hair, slapped y'all up with baldness, okay? How did he accomplish this? Okay, naturally, yes. Then he put it on top of our oppressor to perpetuate his sentiments by coming up with the perm. And that's what we're gonna put on the, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, hot seat tonight, this perm. This says that, um, what is this shit? Give me one second. When was the perm introduced to the African Americans? When was the perm introduced to the African Americans? All right, this says the first US patent for the for a permanent wave machine was given to Marjorie Joyner in 1928. Joyner, an African-American woman who graduated from predominantly Caucasian school of beauty, lived in Chicago and owned. So the white man introduced it through a, a brother, a sister. All right. Now we're going to go through here and look at what else they got. All right. Straightening, trying to straighten kinky hair is what they say. Became popular culture to straighten kinky hair. With greases, oils, straightening combs, and hellish amounts of heat after a chemical hair relaxer was discovered and then marketed by an African-American man named Garrett Augustus Morgan in the early 20th century, so the early 1900s. So you can see today that all the sisters are negatively and adversely affected by the, uh, the effects of these perms and all this heat and all of this shit, hot combs. I watched my mother. My mother used to have a goddamn fro like this. I'm serious. It was big and motherfucker. Then we moved down to Atlanta in 1977. And I shortly thereafter remember her putting all of these, all of this heat on her head. She used to put hot combs perms and all of this shit. And before you know it, and no doubt it took her hair out and she bald headed like the rest of the bitches on earth. No doubt. Okay. But the perm was introduced as the chemical to uh, quickly expedite this whole agenda of taking away the sister's hair. Okay. And today we fast forward up to the modern era, hundred years later. And all of the sisters, every sister you see got some kind of goddamn weave on in her head. Now, the scripture said, envy not thine oppressor and choose none of his ways. No doubt it would be useful if the, if the women, the daughters of Zion could understand and hear that, hear that verse. Envy not thine oppressor and choose none of his ways. So by envying this long, straight, slick goat hair of these goddamn heathen bitches, our women, not knowing that they've been hit by the 
by by the heavenly father and taken away and given baldness and so on and so forth per uh isaiah in the third chapter 16 through the end um they perceive it to be that they don't have no hair they just fucked on the earth and to try to straighten that they go out and buy them hair and in doing so they um they support the market i guess they come over that all this hair comes over from uh the west i meant the east indians okay no problem it does not have to be the case and let me tell you this all the time i look and witness sisters that wake up to the knowledge of the truth and they still got weaves in their hair when when the heavenly father and her martial himself have hair just like you see right here. Look at all this woolly shit. You see that? My shit coming up. You know, man. Whoa. That's why I'm keeping it on my head. Don't matter about the style. I don't give a shit. This is what the father said he wanted to happen with my head. That's what's happening. But you see, I got that wool. Ain't nobody can deny that. I am an Hebrew. Can't know two motherfuckers on the face of this earth, but two Hebrews make a woolly-headed baby. It ain't gonna happen. Now, if my, let's say I and some white bitch mixed and had a child, that child is gonna come out with some other grade of hair. It ain't gonna be this wool. You see that? And I know a lot of niggas think, that's cool and blah, blah, blah. Until you read the scriptures and find out that your ass, if you don't have that woolly hair, you ain't a part of the testimony. All right? So Revelation 1st chapter, Daniel 7th chapter and 10th chapter testifies to Israel, Hamashach and the Heavenly Father having woolly hair. There's no way around that. And these niggas talk that shit to me, talking about these goddamn Mexicans is our brothers. And I'm asking them, well, where the fuck is they woolly hair at? Trying to tell me, oh, well, not all Israel had woolly men. <laughs> Bullshit. All Israel has woolly hair. And we still got woolly hair to this day, if you were Israelite. Now, I'm not saying that every Israelite has, you know, woolly hair when it comes down to it. They might have some type of slick hair. Okay, no problem. No problem. I know niggas from back when I was a kid I, where they had the good hair, the waves and all of this shit and blah, blah, blah. They still, when they let that shit grow out, it turns into a bush. And our sisters have not understood the truth and they have gone against the scriptures, the testimony, and have sold out and they buying all kind of weave and shit. Sisters, when the fuck you gonna let it be? The father gave you the same hair he gave my ass. I'm rocking the shit. What if I went and put some motherfucking uh, white boy hair in my head and sold it in? You'll say that nigga crazy. So I'm saying your ass is crazy, sisters. You understand me? So this is just a quick message. Let all the ladies of Israel know, rock your own natural hair. It don't matter what the rest of the world doing. The 400 years is up anyway. So the most high about to start judging this nation. Like he said. Again, this message was to all the sisters telling us, giving us a little background on the on the perms how they came about uh, african-american so they say uh negro eat judah israel uh introduced it okay but we know the per the chemicals and all of those concoctions they are what they were provided for by the white man you understand that so I just wanted to bring this message. The scripture said, envy not thine oppressor and choose none of his ways. Don't be envying these white bitches, long, straight, goat hair. The father told you back with Jacob and Esau. 
that that uh, Rebecca told Jacob to go out and get her two kids of goats. And he brought it back so that he could try to attempt to fool blind Isaac. And he went and did that. He got two kids of goat and the hair and put it all over, all over himself. So when blind Isaac felt on him, he thought he was feeling Esau. So Esau had long goat hair. There's no way around that shit. Now, I don't know if Esau is the white man or if it's that simple. What? But I know he had goat hair. Who the fuck else got goat hair out here? You see that? So, sisters, go with your own hair. Love your own woolly hair if you don't. I don't know what to say. Uh, I know that the Heavenly Father and Hamashak have hair of wool. So it's going to be something for you to have to explain to them why it is you elected to go out here and get you some motherfucking weave put in your head so you can have some long stringy hair that falls down. You see this shit anti-gravitational. This shit don't fall down. Look at that shit. You see that? So love your own shit, Israel. Uh, keep your own shit. Rock your own shit. And be holy.